Hey, what's up everyone? And uh, we're here in Kurt River at Beefcake's Burger Factory. And uh, this is hands down my favorite burger within the region. I'm gonna go for the That Canadian double patty. We got some smoked tenderloin, lettuce, tomato, some crispy onions, maple syrup, and obviously that American cheddar. They do an all smash patty. It's the only way to eat a burger in my opinion. Let's go inside and check it out. Hey Derek, so how did beefcakes all start for you? Well, I've always loved burgers. Everybody knows that. Um, but there's never been a throwback sort of old school burger shop in Thunder Bay. Nobody's doing the traditional smash burger, except for us right now, um, consistently anyway. So our philosophy is that we're gonna do everything kind of the old school way with you know, grabbing the meat, throwing it on the grill, smashing it down, getting that good crust going, getting that Maillard happening and then uh, just mixing it up with a little bit more modern type ingredients. Yeah, nice. And you try to use as many local ingredients as possible, right? Yeah, we have like a lot of local suppliers. Like growing season in Thunder Bay is a little bit weird for a lot of people. So the season's a little bit short for some things, but we're able to do our meat local or regional for most of the year. And then uh, our potatoes all year are locally produced. So it's, uh, it works out good. We like the trickle down economics of everything. Yeah. And, and I know it's like, cause I'm a big, you know, smash burger enthusiast. And oftentimes they use the smaller patty, the four ounce. You seem to go bigger with these, with the six yeah, ounce. We go, we go sometimes a little bit bigger. It depends on which burger you're ordering, obviously. We feel like it gives a, a better experience. It smashes out a little bit, a little bit wider. So you get that kind of pop factor when you unwrap it. And like, that's part of the game, right? You want that, I love hearing people in the dining room unwrapping their burgers and then you hear a bunch of expletives and you know, I love that. That's. That's what you live for, right? Yeah, like kind of, you know, holy crap, look yeah. how big this burger is. Yeah, it's uh, it's something else. For, for me, I think my favorite thing is when I bring uh, someone from out of town. I'm like, you got to try this burger, you yeah. know, uh, when you come to Thunder Bay. And oftentimes, it's like, this is the best burger I ever had. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's yeah. it's pretty cool. Like, we had, we had a company or a family in this week from Arkansas who had never had poutine before. And so they came here for burgers and poutine at like 11 o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. And they're like... And they're like, we had to come. Somebody at the hotel said we had to come. I'm like, awesome. Like, yeah. what more do you want than that? Yeah. You know, Thunder Bay supports Thunder Bay and they love that. So uh, you gonna kind of walk me through the process of you making a burger here? Absolutely, we're gonna make your burger. Perfect, <laughs> can't wait. Hey Derek, uh, thanks for the burger. No Pretty problem. excited. I wish I could say, you know, this is my first time, but it's definitely not <laughs> my first time. Don't know how many to count I've had, but there's been a few. Well, cheers, been, buddy. Cheers. Mm. That crust, baby, that crust. So Derek, uh, where did you come up with this recipe? Because it's, it's amazing. So it started with, um, I tried the smoked pork tenderloin from European Meats. Yeah. And I was like, I gotta find a way for this to come up on a burger. And it reminded me a lot of like Canadian back bacon. Yeah. Except it's made with the tenderloin instead. So you can slice it a little bit thicker and you can still chew it. So that's kind of where it started is that trying to find a way to kind of incorporate all these Canadian sort of things. And then um, adding chipotle mayo onto it just made sense, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm not very Canadian, but uh, you know what, it all works, so. Um, that was the really the germ of the idea and then it just kind of snowballed from there adding the maple syrup and everything to that Yeah, adds that little sweetness to it along yep. with the spice sweet and smoky and spicy mm -hmm. kind of hit on all cylinders there. Yep It's a mighty fine burger definitely one of my favorites of all time one of my finest creations. I believe you said that <laughs> <laughs> Nice. That burger was amazing as usual. Uh, Beefcakes Burger Factory here in Kern River. They have two locations, one in Westport and one in Kern River. So you have no excuse not to check it out if you think it's too far. Uh, that Canadian burger, two patties, 
That's my go-to, but they have probably 10 other different options. So you gotta come in, check it out, and uh, figure out what's best for you.